What have I done? Hey everyone, it's Connor back from this old farm and today it is Saturday morning. We're in the shop obviously and uh, right now we're waiting on breakfast to be made. Um, but today we got a little bit of a some progress to be made on the apartment. We have, I went through and bought some um, vapor barrier, the, the I think it's four mil, I think is what I got, plastic, plastic vapor barrier. So we're gonna go through and work on getting that put up. I also bought uh, another um, four inch light fixture, recessed light fixture, or whatever you want, I, the canister light. Since Menards juked me on that box I bought, so we're gonna go through and get that put up in the, up there, well, you might not be able to see it, up in the pole barn, that's what I was trying to show you. Um, so we'll get that, try and get those two, we'll get the light fixture put up, we'll try and get the vapor barrier done today. I didn't buy insulation because I figured the vapor barrier would take me all weekend. And I also might work on the 756. The 756 needs, hold on, give me a second, unprepared, as usual, um, one of these put in it starter button uh, right now the uh, the little let me get sit down here the little rubber coating is missing on the from the uh, the one currently on it so there's you have to take a screwdriver and hit the two contacts in the in the button so we're gonna either we're gonna put this one in I'm not sure if that's an indac one or not um, indac is who originally made them and they still do I actually have one that I had bought for one of the 806s at the other farm um, so I might I might put that one in instead because I know that's going to be better quality than whatever A&I here sells I don't know if that's I don't think that's in DAC so we might put the put the one from Case IH in that I have because uh, I have nothing else for it right now so we're going to go th we'll go through and put a starter button in the 756 possibly and then I was thinking if I got that far if I got done with that and got that thing running, um, we'll go over and hook up to the manure spreader and pull that out of the snowbank and get the there's a bunch of twine wrapped around the the beaters, you know, usual manure spreader situation. Uh, get that taken care of, and then also fix the jack that I managed to wreck a couple weekends ago here. So didn't wreck it too bad, but it needs a little bit of repair. So. We'll uh, wait for breakfast to get done here, and then uh, I guess we'll see you guys up in the apartment, probably. All right, so as you can maybe possibly tell, we're in the cab of the 756, and, uh, well, we're getting her torn apart here a little bit. So I got the, the instrument shroud off, I'm going to call it. Um, I also took this one loose. I was hoping maybe I could take just just take this off without having to pull this one off because I know how much of a pain in the rear end that one is but uh, no such luck because the tachometer cable is too t pulls too tight so yeah so that's all the further I could get her out so that's not gonna help us any so I did pull I did pull that upper shroud off now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take our needle nose players and screwdriver flathead screwdriver there and reach up in there and you can see right there at the tip of my finger that's one of the bolts there there's another one on the other side and those are the spades that go on the terminals uh, it does kind of concern me that those are our push on spades because my one here is uh, for the screw screw in style um, so I guess we're gonna find out if they're the same or not I don't know but uh, I'm going to work on pulling that apart and we'll uh, bring you guys back in a little bit when we discover whether it's for us or not. So if you're going to replace the button, the push button start on, let me get that fixed first, that's bothering me. If you're going to replace the push button start on your 5606 whatever series tractor you have with that style button on it, make sure before you do it that you determine whether it's the spade style or the screw style because they're different other than for the obvious 
So these little spades here, they don't slip onto the screw posts of that's of you know the one I have here. You can still get the spade style, so I'm gonna have to see about getting that because I believe Rick's was a uh, I believe Rick's is a screw style as well. So I'll have to look into uh, getting a spaded one from International. I believe that they I believe they um, still sell them through Case IH because I'd rather buy you know these ones are you can see there I think you can see hold on maybe you can't can I get the light right for you well maybe you can't maybe you can um, there's the index uh, index push button or made you know, made by index whatever you want to say so uh, that's what's you know original equipment so to speak that's what was on or what they came with from the factory and that's what you want to put back on it because the new ones that you buy from tractor supply steiner all state tag parts all of them they're junk um well at least i know the ones from all state tag parts are because we tried to put one in one of the 806s at the other farm and the freaking thing fell apart before like a handful of uses so uh, i guess for now we're just gonna leave it open like this until we get a a new push button because it's not getting used anytime soon so we'll uh we'll get the proper style push button there and uh go from there i guess so on to the next thing all right so welcome to the idiocy of connor i just bought a tractor and uh now it's the panic to get to the bank to get money for it and uh and then pick it up and we're trying to find the ball hitch. It's around here somewhere. All right. I guess we'll bring you back. All right, so we are bought and paid for, and this very well could have been a uh, a mistake. Just by the looks of it, the quick looks of it, the uh, I think it's possibly stuck. The engine and the transmission. It's hard to know for sure, but they both feel like they are stuck. And there's a car coming. So, we are going to get this uh, thing loaded up. If we can. A little bit of chaos going on here, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, bring you guys back when we're working on loading. There we are. It's loaded up half assed, that's for sure. But uh, as good as it's gonna get. We couldn't back pull it on backwards because it won't go in neutral. And I'm afraid that the engine's locked up. Um, tires are, front tires are junk, which is whatever. I don't really care about that so much. Back tires are decent. They got weather checking, but they'll hold for a while. Buyer's remorse has set in. Uh, this might have been a serious mistake. We're gonna find out, I guess. Well, it is uh, 6.30, I think. There it is. Well, you guys have already seen it, but uh, it made it. That was quite the journey. I took, kind of took the back roads, and of course one of them was bumpier than beachy double hockey stick but uh, it made it what have I done all right well good morning it's Sunday uh, breakfast is done we've had that and uh, now I get to remorse on my purchase more. I, right away this morning, went through and pulled the, the shifter off. Up, up on the trailer here. Um, I had a thought yesterday that my hope was that it was locked in two gears. 
because that's why the transmission the transmission is locked up so I, my hope was that it was locked in two gears causing the engine to be locked up and the transmission to be locked up well I pulled the shifter off and we're gonna see is it gonna be too dark hold on let me use my little zoom feature here all right see that down in there that's the shift rails Yep, yeah, she's rested up. So what that means is I really screwed up with this thing. This is more than likely going to be a complete and total tear down, disassemble, inspect, figure out what's wrong, what it's going to take to fix. And um, this may end up being like a uh, uh, project like just a few acres farm did with his MD so it may be you know kind of just a complete rebuild I guess I don't know we're gonna have to see there's gonna be have to be some support from the channel as far as you know through YouTube ad re revenue and that because I can tell you right now that with the tools I have the time I have and the money I have this thing's got a way, way long road ahead of it if I'm doing it. So, well, uh, we got to go with the first challenge of getting the freaking thing unloaded and uh, where we're going to put it. And then uh, we'll go from there, I guess. Yeah. That's what we're going to use. we have to use it's off you know thinking about it I guess on the bright side if all else comes to fail I bought myself a $680 chain all right so we're back in the apartment again and uh, well maybe you can see above me we got some vapor barrier put up so started cutting into our roll there got some of it put up uh, cut around the light fixtures that are up uh, I did put the one in the bathroom. I got one of them before I came up this weekend, so we're good there again. Um, so now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and 
roll the roll back out and we'll put one up on that wall I guess and then probably do this wall after that one and then we can kind of get them two with the scraps so yeah exciting all right well it's several hours later as you probably can tell based off of the sunlight and well when we left off with you we had the ceiling up now we have that wall vapor barriered that wall this wall we're leaving this because this is going to be an accent thing um and then that wall so we're all vapor barriered up it's kind of nice to get an actual feel of you know kind of the size of what it's going to be because you know now the ceiling is kind of in place with the vapor barrier and stuff so it kind of gives you a sort of a boundary so it's kind of nice to be able to actually get a feel for what it's going to be for once so anyways i think that's probably going to be it on the apartment for today because i think our next step is going to be uh probably sheetrock we got to go out to the cabin and get that so that's probably the next step um so yeah i think that's where we're gonna end off with the apartment for the day because we're kind of done in it so um i don't know if we're doing anything next i guess we are we'll talk to you guys in a minute otherwise we'll have an outro i'll make an end credit for you anyways um or an ending but yeah either way we'll see you guys in a minute all right guys well that's gonna be it for the video today we're uh working on cleaning up so i'm in the shop getting things resituated and whatnot so anyways I'm probably going to take off for home here pretty soon. So that's all I got for you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my headache that I gained. And uh, yeah, that'll be, uh, we're going to see what that comes to be. But uh, anyways, it is what it is, I guess. So thanks for watching, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, we'll talk to you next week.